what's the time? Good afternoon, because it's just past 12 now. Uh, good afternoon to all the successful students, uh, quite a few of them to whom I have already taught. So, in fact, uh, this is going to be slightly repetitive because I come here almost for every function and every six months uh, I am telling you quite a few things which are uh, almost uh, similar. The whole idea is that uh, you should study. Uh, the basic uh, underline is that as I typically, give, when I dictate notes, I say that you have to underline this in the paper. In the same way, uh, it is the most underlining fact here is that uh, you have got good marks. You have come here uh, to get felicitated. And you should continue to get good marks. Obviously, for that, you need to study study hard. And why I will tell you this? Because if you see the trend in a couple of years, you will find that uh, things for engineering are getting a little bit tough. The admissions are getting easy, and the careers are getting tougher. So probably uh, your diploma student going from here to the degree, things are going to be pretty easy in the sense that you are almost assured admission at one place or the other. You have to uh, study harder and struggle if you want to get uh, admission in a better college, in a good college. So otherwise, admissions as such, as you are seeing the figures, uh, number of seats are always bigger than the number of applicants. So everybody is going to get admission. Uh, the, what will be important is that how and uh, where you study and what is the manner in which you study, what is the quality of education that you will get when you study. So for that, obviously, you have to get better marks and you must try for that. And uh, second thing which I always tell that uh, uh, don't stop here from degree to diplo diploma to degree. Uh, from degree, one must try for even the post-graduation because uh, nowadays, a uh, post-graduate qualification is something that is absolutely necessary. Uh, days are gone. In fact, if you ask me, if you uh, ask me, my uncle, uh, who was uh, from 10 batches before me, and he got a diploma in electrical engineering, and he joined BARC and happened to be at a very high post in BARC. But those days were gone. Means the, the only diploma, you're not getting very good jobs in terms of salary as well as satisfaction. I have got quite a few people who got frustrated because students having degrees and postgraduate, they superseded them in various companies simply because they were just the diploma holders. So obviously, uh, I don't think I, I have got anything to say about that. Uh, everybody knows that from here you are going for degree. But what I will say that from after completing degree, uh, you must try your careers for, career further in uh, post-graduation, some kind of post-graduation. Uh, as per your liking, it might be in technology, it might be in management, uh, you may try out M-Tech, ME, uh, going to foreign universities and do MS, or even MBA for that matter, although MBA has lot, lost its sheen uh, for last couple of years, uh, because uh, there are too many managers and very few good engineers who are really working at the low level. Even in my lectures, I tell that uh, in a group of 12 in an IT company, only two people are really working. Remaining 10 are not delivering to full the full, fullest of their potential. So uh, you must uh, see this perspective. Do your studies in all the levels. First, complete the remaining two, three, four, whatever semesters are there in diploma. Then go to degree. Then do complete those three years in degree. And then, as per your liking, should go for a post-graduation and uh, come out with the... Generally, uh, one should not uh, take a gap. Uh, that is what is my personal opinion, because many people say that whenever they are doing MBA, lateral and all, two, three years experience in between. But uh, generally, when the money comes, it becomes very difficult to study. And it becomes very difficult to study once you are... Uh, uh, Jab is full yeah, and there are a lot of di distractions and a lot of luring factors nowadays in uh, society, outside world. You have got uh, more avenues to spend than to earn. So my earnest request to all of you is that 
you have got good marks just keep on doing that get better and better and better marks go to a very good college at undergraduate and postgraduate come out with flying colors and uh, shape your own careers thank you very much